If you own land, can you inherit the mineral interests such as gas and oil beneath the earth? Find out in today's video. Let me tell you about Bob Smith. Bob Smith was a guy who lived in Oklahoma, and when Oklahoma became a state in 1907, Bob got a land grant from the federal government of 40 acres. A few years later, Bob sells off the surface rights to the property, but kept for himself the mineral, everything that was below the surface, the mineral interests and everything like that. Now, nothing happened to those interests. For a hundred years, those interests were pretty much worthless. Then, around the turn of the century, all of a sudden, the oil and gas companies discovered things like fracking and horizontal drilling, and they were able to drill in places they never thought before, including in that area where Bob Smith owned his property. Why am I telling you this? See, when we discovered that Bob Smith had this money, it became a whole hassle to find his heirs. Meanwhile, the oil and gas company is sitting on the money that belongs to his heirs. I'm telling you this because if you inherit mineral interests and they look like they're worthless, you should still record with the county, with the, whoever it is, whatever office, the registered deeds of clerk that maintains these records, something showing who the heirs are and the address and stuff like that. This way, if at some point in the future, whether two years from now, or 20 years from now, however long, those interests become valuable because the oil and gas companies can out drill, you want them to be able to know who you are and where you are, especially in certain states where if you don't record something with a certain period of time, those rights go away. They're lost. And the perfect person who owns the surface interest now owns the mineral interest as well, and you lost everything. So if you inherit mineral interest, even if they seem worthless, make sure you record something with the county. Hope this helps and have a great day. Head over to InheritMore.com for more content on inheritance and asset recovery.